So Doctor Anomaly is a pretty quick and easy install. First, you want to head over to their ModDB page. Head all the way down, download the zip file. And then you want to extract all of the zip file into a new folder. If you want to do it to your primary device, you can, or you can just put it onto a removed device. Once you have that all unzipped, you want to head over to the discovery page. Search up Proton up dash QT. Then you want to install Proton Tricks. Once you have that installed, you just want to head over and go to Proton QT. Once that's on, you want to go to Add Version. The tool you want to use is Steam Tinker Launch. Install and then wait for a little blue bar to finish. Once that's done, you might have to close uh, Steam and reopen it. Make sure you right click and completely exit Steam. I was just editing the video and I just realized that I didn't show how to add the game to your Steam library. So uh, open up after Steam had been reopened. Click on the games tab right here, add an off Steam game to your library, browse, find where you uh, unzipped all of those files. For me, I put it in uh, home deck games in its own little file or folder. Make sure you change the file type to all files and find the launcher. Once Steam Tinker Launch is installed, right click Properties, go to Compatibility, and force Steam Tinker Launcher down in the menu. You want to be able to run it once before you get to the next step, and that is using Proton Tricks. And then you'll just find it on Proton Tricks right here. Select whichever install you were going to use it on. Use the default prefix. And then you just want to install a Windows DLL or component. Down on the drop down menu, you have, I think, eight components you want to install, and this is just DirectX 9 through 11, as well as your compilers. Click OK, and it should install. It might take a second, but just give it a time. If you decide to run it through MO2, uh, everything is a little more straightforward. You're just going to install your mods in its own folder. I just put it in the games folder. Once you're in MO2, when you launch um, Stalker Anomaly, you're just going to install your mod and then pick it, pick and choose from there. This is Stalker Anomaly, so conflicts are bound to happen if you don't install them in the correct order and or if they're compatible with each other in the first place. So once you've installed your mods, choose a, dir er, a DirectX version or you could just go to the launcher. I choose whichever one's recommended from my mods as well as what I like to play on in the first place. And then you'll be able to run it, run it from here. In my opinion, running this in desktop mode is your only option. 
for right now running steam tinker launch and mo or mo2 in game mode uh does just doesn't work so uh it's easier just to run it on desktop mode i have been able to run it in game mode but i know some other people often have the issue of it just not working on a side note if you don't want or don't need mod organizer you can just use a new version of Proton or Proton GE. For that, you'll just need to open up Proton QT again, add version, and then Proton GE is the first one that pops up for your compatibility tool. I choose the newest version most of the time as I go, but it does work as early as 38. Once you've installed that tool, go to your library properties and use that as a compatibility tool instead of Steam Tinker Launch. And it's pretty straightforward. This one is uh, tried and true for game mode. You just play and it launches the game right on its own. If you would rather run it off of a specific DirectX version versus the actual Anomaly Launcher, You'll just go to where you installed Anomaly, go to App Data, no, nope, no, nope. go to Bin, and the Direct Spec. Direct X version is right here. So you'll just go to your library, and you can browse and change it to the specific version. Or if you would do, or if you want to start from the very beginning, just add it to your library and pick that exe versus the launcher.